what's going on guys? So uh, I'm going to make some changes to my Insector deck and I thought I'd show you guys and then uh, you guys can tell me what you think of this. So uh, I'll show you how the deck stands up now because I've changed it since the uh, uh, list that I played with at our regionals that I topped with. And um, it's just because it, it, the deck seems a little linear and I kind of don't really like those decks too much. I like to have some uh, variety in it. So let me show you where the deck stands of, as of right now because I did make some changes to it. So as far as the traps for playing the three Solemns, uh, two Torrential, Maxi and three Veilers, so those are the traps. As far as the monsters, we're playing Gores, Sangan, Dark Armed, uh, three Hornet, three Centipede, one Gigamantis, and three Dragonfly. And for the spells, I have Allure, Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, Mind Control, three Dualities, and one Lance. And these are the things that I'm taking out, uh, but currently this is what I have in it right now. I still do have the two Lances, the Swords, uh, and two Tomatoes, which is new. Uh, and two Hopper, and then I took out the spaces for uh, a Malevolent Catastrophe just because I kind of like that card a little bit better at times. It does tend to work. Um, but here's the cards that I actually wanted to swap out. So I wanted to swap out the Catastrophe, the two uh, Hoppers, two Tomatoes, the Swords, and the two Lances. And this is what I wanted to put in, and this will give it some more like variety in here. So we got Charge Light Brigade, Card Trooper, Debris Dragon, which I think is really good in the deck, uh, just because it allows you to, you know, you can get back Maxi, make Orient Dragon, uh, you can get back uh, Hornet and just uh, blow up the field with like, uh, you know, uh, Black Rose Dragon. Uh, so I mean, there's also Card Trooper, and you can just mill more with Card Trooper than uh, go for Black Rose. So it has uh, quite a bit of targets, I don't feel like it's really dead. They're playing Black Luster Soldier, Pot of Avarice, two Call of the Haunted, one Lila and two Rikos, and so I thought this would give the deck uh, a little bit more of a different way to play, just because, um, you know, I, I really wanted to try Light Sworn and Insectors, because it seemed like it'd be an okay option, just because you have the ability to mill, and, you, you know, you, if you mill, like, any of the Insectors, you're uh, pretty set to go, and then on top of that, Call the Haunted was going to be there, because um, everyone has warnings, uh, and so when you summon Dragonfly and they warning, and, like, if you activate Monster Reborn, um, which is not in here, which uh, decided to hide. But yeah, there should be Monster Reborn in here, guys. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, when you actually like Monster Reborn, um, you know, after they, you know, saw him warning, it's really good because then you can take advantage of them uh, paying that life, and usually you can finish off the game from there. And then I felt like sometimes when you play Insectors, after you kind of go for your big push, um, essentially, or, or after you've kind of exhausted all your Dragonflies, you don't have too many options. Um, I mean, if if you get rid of all your dragonflies and then the centipedes are gone, there's really like small limits of what you can do to actually come back from that. So I thought like Avarice was good. I mean, um, as far as the monsters in here, I mean, basically after you've used the uh, a few amount of insectors that you have, uh, you don't really have any other option. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but I felt like Pot of Avarice would have just kind of reset the entire engine and uh, keep the deck going. Um, although usually you'll just win faster, especially when you're playing like the Sword OTK variant. But yeah, Black House Soldiers is too good, and then I thought, you know, Charge Light Brigade would be awesome as well. I mean, if you can just first turn get in a, a mill of like a Hornet after you, you know, let's say you're going second and your opponent has a field, I think that that is pretty good too. Um, it allows you to uh, have, you know, some options. The only problem with like putting a Hornet in the grave so early on is that they can just like crow it, which is Kind of unfortunate, but uh, no one really mains DD Crow anyways. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of taking out uh, these cards and then adding these ones. Uh, just a real quick recap. I thought about taking out like two lances, the swords, uh, two tomatoes, which I actually really like the tomatoes to be honest, but I figured, you know, if I have the mill there, I can mill myself. I don't need to worry about, you know, trying to uh, get out like a hornet or a dragonfly. Um, and the two hoppers and catastrophe. Um, I mean, I could say in you know, have a space uh, space typhoon in here, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I forgot to put in the reborn there. But reborn is uh, probably hiding somewhere. Um, but I felt like I didn't really need a space just because I have you know Lila. If there's some problematic card, as well as the thing is, uh, people always cite in Macro Cosmos this giant shadow imprisoning me here. So like, I wouldn't. I would already be pretty good to go. Plus the Rikos uh, would save some extra deck room because. Uh, everyone, you know, needs to side Stoneman Eaters. It's really important for the Rescue Rabbit or Dino Rabbit matchup. And Raiko just gets that work and done. Uh, although he's not as strong as far as defense like Stoneman Eater, he is a light, you know, which does help with BLS. Uh, but he does get that mill in, and that mill in can, uh, you know, be quite effective. And then, you know, Charge Light Brigade does just help out with the searches. And uh, Call of the Haunted, really, I'd probably end up siding this card out because, you know, people always side in Macro Cosmos. Um, but yeah, I mean, Call of the Haunted could be good, um, just because, you know, it's always a great chainable to, like, to get back Sangin, and now I can get back Card Trooper as well, um, you know, or if they, like, summon Dragonfly, like I said earlier, and they warning, and you just go, oh, cool, Call of the Haunted, it, 
And, you know, you're good to go. And I think, you know, uh, Call of the Haunting Dragonfly is really good. Or any Insector, really. I mean, you can Call of the Haunting Gigamantis if you really want to. Um, but yeah, and also the ability to be Black Luster Soldier, and then reset the engine essentially, like recycling your engine was kind of uh, a, a reason why I wanted to try this out. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, or if you have any other suggestions of uh, what to run, because I felt like this deck right here was a little bit stale, and it was just like, oh, so go go for OTK, like this, that's what the deck did, and it did it quite well, I'm not going to complain. But uh, you know, I, I want to try taking some other stuff and see how it goes, like Mystic Tomato definitely helped out, just because uh, there are times where you just have a bad hand, like when you draw... <laughs> Like, there was a game where I opened up with Triple Hornet, and I still won. It was versus the Dino Rabbit player, too, um, at YCS. And, yeah, I mean, it still was okay just because you can um, equip Hornet to Hornet, and, you know, you can just pop from there. Uh, but the main reason why I won is because Hornet gains that extra attack boost. Uh, like, if you have, like, uh, you know, uh, a Centipede, and just this extra attack boost to get it up to 2100, it just really helped out so much, um, especially with, like, Lance, too. Uh, but yeah, I felt like I didn't really necessarily need the lance to save my stuff because since I was milling my stuff anyways, I'd have like, you know, Call of the Haunted and uh, if they do interrupt my play. Because uh, after you, they Valor you, I mean, you have no options. Like when you summon Dragonfly and they go Valor Dragonfly, uh, your only option at that point is basically, you know, Call of the Haunted. I mean, you could activate Enemy Controller and chain it so you can steal their monster, but that's not that great in Insectors, because uh, you can't really, like, Synchro or Exceed, because you won't have any things on the field. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think of, like, this little, like, tech idea I had. But, yeah, these car were cards I changed, because I didn't really like Space Typhoon, so... This proved itself, because once Skill Drain was on the field, uh, they usually set, like, another back row, and then, like, this was just able to just get the extra, um, you know, a surprise factor in there, um... But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.